Hey, my name is Max. Welcome to my thing. Um, today I'm going to talk about this wooden body joiner plane that I restored. And in the first part of the video, I'm going to talk about what I did to uh, get it up and running, um, tuned up and working properly. Second part of the video, if you want to hang around, I'm going to use it to flatten the top of this workbench central. So we're going to get this all in one take because I'm not going to flatten this thing twice. All right. So I'm going to take the blade out and I hit the front of it here. And I don't know if you could hear, hear on that last tap, when the blade is coming loose, it kind of makes like a little bit of a ring after you hit it. Um, you might not be able to hear in that video, but that's what you're listening for to let it let you know that it's, that it's loose. So I'm going to pull this out. And I'm going to get close so you can see the detail here. So initially, I didn't really know what I was looking at. I thought that there was a crack here in the... Um, uh, the blade, but what this is, is it's, um, this is how they used to build, um, plane blades and it's a laminated steel blade. And so it's cast iron here for the main body of the blade, but there's a thin sheet of tool steel right up here on the front. And that way you get all of the, you can, I mean, you can see it's a pretty, pretty thick blade. Um, you get all the advantages of having all that mass on the blade so that it doesn't, you know, chatter or jump. Um, but it sharpens really easily because all of this is really soft steel. So it just removes very quickly. And then you can see I put like, um, hold it like this. You can see I put a lot of camber on the blade. So initially I had less camber. Um, I just kind of had the corners pulled in a little bit and um, I was getting really inconsistent results with it. The body of the plane is just so long that you... Um, you need to have a little bit of camber and a little bit of blade sticking out in order for it to just bite into the wood and kind of get a consistent, consistent shaving. Um, all right, I'll talk about the wedge. Uh, this is the new wedge that I made. This is the old one. And you can see um, that something's been living on in this thing and kind of chewing on these uh, for some reason they seem to really like the the ends of the wedge here and uh, that's an issue because you want the greatest amount of um, wedging pressure to be right up here at the tips like right there near the front of the blade because that's what keeps the blade stable so um that and the other thing is you know um, i guess uh like all of us uh as the wood gets older it's going to lose some of its spring and so i think you buy one of these that's um, older like this, you're just going to want to think about um, making yourself a new wedge. So I made a new one. It's just poplar. Um, I use poplar because it's um, soft and easy to kind of work, but it's got a very fine sort of um, um, grain to it. Um, and I'll just go ahead and talk about the body really quick and what I did with that. So you can see that there are um, a number of cracks up here on the top and some of them are quite deep. And so what I did with for those is I just put a bunch of glue in and used a clamp to like squeeze the glue out, let off the clamp, push some more glue in. And, and you know, if you keep like putting more glue on and then squeezing the clamp down and letting off the clamp, you can work the, the glue into there in the body. And so I did that just to um, kind of stabilize the body so that it's not like twisting and these cracks aren't getting any larger. On the underside, I just flattened it. It was pretty close to flat. Um, you can see that there's a lot of bug damage here, um, just in general, all over the, the body. So um, I bought this in the Czech Republic at a flea market, and I don't know what these are. I don't think that they have um, termites in the, in the Czech Republic. I think it's too cold for them there. So maybe like carpenter ants. I don't know if there's an entomologist watching that can leave us a comment and we can find out what those are. Um, and then for the sides, I just um, took a scraping card and kind of cleaned off the grime and, um, and it actually brought out some really nice um, figure in the wood. Um, and then I put a couple coats of shellac on it and a uh, coat of wax and away we go. All right, so I'm gonna put this in here. I'm just gonna like rest this on the table. I'm gonna put in the wedge. I'm gonna give it a little tap just to see it. And as I flip this over to look at, I'm gonna keep my thumb here on the wedge. And that way, as I flip it over, the wedge doesn't fall out the back. So that is a lot deeper than I probably want. 
So to um, retract the blade, I'm just going to tap on the back side here. All the way up. So just give this a little tap. Um, as I'm adjusting the blade, I'm keeping my hand here, like right, right up against the mouth of the blade, and that way um, it can't get any speed up and cut my hand. But at the same time, it can't fall out the bottom of the plane. All right, pretty close. Um, I would say that it's taken me a little while to get this, um, to learn how to get this thing like adjusted. And it is a little bit slower to set up than my metal body planes, but not that much slower. Um, I think that that's, that's about where I want it. Um, it looks like it's a little bit heavier on this side. So I'm gonna tap this side, just very lightly and just kind of try and move the blade over so that's evenly poking out both sides. That looks really good. So um, lastly, just to set the wedge and keep it in place, just gave a good hard tap right there on the wedge. All right. Um, I've just got a scrap piece of pine here and I'm going to just make sure that I've got the blade where I want it. So that's a pretty aggressive shaving, obviously. Um, so maybe I do want to back that off a little bit. Give that a try. Um, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and clear this off, and um, then um, we can go ahead and flatten this top. My new bench has hold pass, which I'm really enjoying. It's very quick to just kind of get something going down. Okay, so um, I did kind of take a look here with the um, winding sticks, and it does seem to me like I've got a little bit of twist in this. It seems like this end is just a little bit high. Um, but what I'm going to do first is just I'm going to run across this um, diagonally and just start kind of like, you know, like this, this member is high, this one is high, this one I can feel is high. I'm just going to kind of like you know, work on, work on getting those down. really good for just like removing large amounts of material quickly.
looks like. Uh, it's actually going to be playing more of this direction. You know, I think I can go a little bit more aggressively here, even. I'm going to move in a little bit. Yeah, it's a pretty aggressive cut. We'll see what that is. Down on the end here, my apron is almost like an eighth of an inch high. So uh, I've really got quite a bit of material to remove. So just for this part of it, so still feels a little bit high down here, so I'm just going to keep working on this corner. There we go. Okay, so now I'm getting to see the shading as I go across. And um, I think I'm going to start backing off this iron a little bit because I'm starting to get a little bit of tear out here. So I'm going to tap the front of this to uh, loosen the blade. And then I can tap the back of this. That's very shallow. Right. Not T. This is pretty good cardio.
This bench is made out of uh, California redwood. Whew. Yeah, that'll uh, work up a sweat. Um, the plane has so much mass that really you just have to get it started and it'll pretty much just plow through anything. You can tell that this is a pretty, pretty good uh, workout, pretty good cardio here. that there's a high spot here, but I can't really tell what it is. I think maybe it's this, is it this end piece? We should have cleaned out the tool well before I started all this, but. piece here on the end, I've got some, um, I've got a piece with some really undulating grain, which is pretty, but um, it's having a lot of its hair out, and the, keep, the grain keeps changing directions. So... Um, I'm just going to hit that with the Smoothing frame real quick. And um Thank <laughs> you. 
So at this point, I've got pretty continuous planes running most of the way across. So I've still got some jumps here, still got some stuff here that needs to be taken down. Starting to look good. And I can tell that this one is still low. See, there's still a bunch of glue left on it. That feels high. So. Might be starting to be close to uh, where I'll switch over to the smoothing plane. Because at this point, I've got, I'm looking at my track lines here, and um, I've got track lines going all the way across most of the bench. <laughs> I'll switch to planing along this diagonal and just gonna do a real quick check and see, um, make sure that I'm flat across here and see how um, if I've got a lot of twist developing or, or what here. So, Woo! Out of breath.
So these are my uh, winding sticks. They're just two identical, very straight sticks with some marks. And I mean, I'm seeing, I'm seeing that uh, this corner and this corner are just a little bit high. Um, I definitely want to make sure I get all the twist out of there. Let's see how we're doing on this. It's pretty good. A little bit of a smile there. A little smile. So um, my the straight edge is telling me that I'm putting a little bit of a um, a hollow in the bench going down. Um, which isn't surprising. It's hard to get the blade to run all the way across. So, um, I think I'm not going to worry too much about that because I think that's going to be easier to get out with the um, smoothing plane because then I can just run straight down and kind of uh, work on that that way. But I am going to try and get the twist out of it now. And I'm gonna, I can see that this corner still has a bunch of glue on it, so we can take some more off there. Um, and this corner is a little bit high, so we'll go ahead and go and work on this for a little bit. Fun to start to see uh, all the grain and figure will be visible in the final um, bench start to come out on this. Start to be able to see kind of what what you're going to be looking at, and we can also see how these joints are looking, which they're um, looking pretty good, looking pretty tight. So I took a bunch off that corner. I'm kind of working back along the diagonal here, taking off uh, this corner.
got a little bit of a bump right here. I feel that this piece is a little bit low. Still seeing a little bit of smile, but that's actually looking flat. A bit a, even a little bit of a belly right there. That's flat. A little bit of a belly right there. Flat. So it looks like we got kind of a belly right here. I'm going to take care of that real quick. Pretty flat going across. So let's take a look and see how we're doing on that twist that we had. It was this corner is a little bit high. Nope. Okay. All right. So um, we've pulled all the twist out now. It's it's. Uh, the two ends um, are even with each other. 
I'm going to give this a little sight down here. And so um, it does look to me like it does look to me like there's a little bit of a hump going this way. Which wouldn't surprise me. I've been working on the corners more than I've been working in the center area. Um, this one. I'm looking for a piece of timber that I that um, is uh, pretty straight. Oh, pretty straight. Saying that there's a little bit of a bump here in the middle, but not that much. Yeah. Well, that feels pretty good, actually. Definitely seeing a little bit of like somewhere in here. I think uh, there's a there's a little bit of a little bit of a bump going this way. That's pretty good as a demonstration. Um, I think you can see how useful one of these can be for just removing a lot of material very quickly, just kind of getting something down to roughly square. I mean, you know, for me, I'm probably gonna run over this a little bit with a um, smoothing plane just to get rid of some of the tear out. Um, but I'm pretty happy with this. I mean, it's it's flat. Um, I think it's flat enough to work on. Um, I don't think you need to, you know, get this to um, uh, true level as as uh, Rick and Morty reference, but um, yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with this. All right, so thank you for watching, and um, if uh, you have any questions, um, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you.